What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Bit of a late night video. Just got off the call with the drip marketing down. We do a weekly call and we try to update the marketing strategy and then roll out a plan, try to execute on that plan for the week. And then we come back a week later, have another meeting, reevaluate, look at the data, and then we go from there. So most of you guys have been following that. I'll try to do a video on that soon that explains our updated process. But this is a protocol I actually wanted to talk about before it launched. And as you can see up here, it's going to launch in about 15 hours, 7 minutes, 30 seconds uh, from when I'm recording the video. I'll post this later tonight. I know it's not an ideal time because I know most people in the U.S. are going to be asleep. But overseas, it should be a good time. You can check out the video. But I wanted to get it up before launch so you guys had an opportunity to check it out if you were interested. It's pretty interesting. I've seen a couple other big YouTubers do videos on this one. And while it does have some similarities uh, to some other protocols that you've seen out there in regard to the fact that they're generating income through trading, they do it in a different way. The money's actually locked in the contract. So it's worth taking a look at to me. So what I figured I would do is just explain how the protocol works. I'm obviously not gonna be able to get into it tonight to show you how to do that. Uh, but I probably will tomorrow, but I've got another video planned tomorrow. And then I've got several meetings, so I didn't think I'd be able to squeeze it in right before launch. Anyway, I'm gonna tell you about it. If you wanna get in, you can. And if you don't, of course, I just appreciate you watching. So here's basically what it is. The DAP is called Dex Factory. The rewards go from 2% all the way up to 5%, and it kind of tears up. They do say that none of this is Ponzi. You can go check out the contract, the Discord, Telegram, Twitter. So go check out the social so you can be involved. Um, I read over the white paper, but it's almost the same information as like the Q&A and stuff down below. So we'll jump down to that in a second. Let's go to the audit real quick though. They had an audit done by the stamp. And as you guys know, George Stamp is an awesome guy. Uh, the overall score is 76, which isn't bad. No back doors, which is important because this is uh, the actual part of the contract they're talking about. The owner, the owners aren't currently doxxed or KYC'd, so they're gonna get a score of 70. The fees are getting 80, and I think that's not bad. Um, they maybe even could have done a little bit better because I don't think the fees are too bad. And then Team Trust is 50. They don't know the team. Like I said, they're not doxxed or KYC'd yet. They do say on the website that they would be happy to do that if the community really wants them to. So, you know, some people out there may say, go ahead and do that. I think that the fact that the contract has no back doors and that all the money and the TBL is locked inside the contract, different than any other trading DAP that's out there that I know of, I think it makes it less, um, it makes the doxing and KYC less important, I guess. So I won't go too deep into the audit because it's just gonna repeat from what I'm actually gonna read on the website. But of course it's on the Binance Smart Chain, which I like, and they actually use BNB for this. So that's kind of interesting because I do think that BNB is on some positive momentum right now. So there's a chance that the BNB could actually be worth more later if you invest it now. So BNB is not a bad choice. I will have to convert some some of my money over to BNB. I don't know exactly what I'm going to throw in here. Probably two BNB or something like that to start. These guys really want a rival. They say that their main competition is Wolf Wolf Capital, and Wolf's been absolutely crushing it for me. So if this gets any type of momentum like that, you could end up doing really well. These percentages are really high. They say that they can pay them out, and they're confident they can do that with the trading. But you can choose how DGen you want to get. So this is the kind of nice thing so uh, stake days 0 to 15 days you're gonna get that 2% 16 to 33% 31 to 45% 4% and then 46 and above is gonna give you that 5% so the longer it's stake the higher yield you get which I think is interesting minimum deposit 0 0.05 BNB not not modifiable by the owner so the contract is locked and immutable I think it's important to note that you can actually take your money out of this one. So it's nice that you can unstake it, but you're gonna get hit with a heavy tax. So you need to figure out at what point that's gonna be worth it. So if you're in that zero to 15 days, you can pull your money, but you're gonna hit with a 90% tax, which is significant. 16 to 30 drops to 70, 31, 45 drops to 60, and then anything over that initial 100 days, you get hit 50% tax, taking the rest out. But if you get in this range, uh, based on the percentages you've already received, you should have ROI'd well before then. So if you are ROI and then you've got an extra, you know, 50% that you want to take, you can. Anyway, it's something to consider. It's definitely it works a little different. 6% um, on deposits, 2% on withdrawals. So let's jump back to the DAP real quick. And I like the UI. I don't know. It's just clean and simple. So I know that doesn't mean anything or how uh, profitable the platform is going to be, but I do like the UI setup. I think it's got a lot of information here. So once you make your deposits, you're going to have your daily reward, of course, uh, your withdrawal amount. You can click collect. 
then because they're trading these funds inside of the contract on decentralized exchanges uh, they're going to need time to be able to pay that out so they need 24 hours before you can actually withdraw it so if you build up your profits you say collect you got to wait one day then you can come in here and withdraw i have seen several places that they are strongly recommending a six in one strategy so you can reinvest right you compound it and then you collect i know when communities have done this things can be really successful I know like a Wolf Capital, it's a 50% redeposit of your earnings. I know we've done that in Mischief of Fortune. I know we've been trying to do that with, uh, with several protocols. So consider that if you're gonna get in, you could consider a six in one strategy. That is probably what I'll do as well. When the time comes and you wanna exit the protocol, if you want to, you can hit this unstake button and that will allow you to take your funds out minus the applicable taxes. Like I said, they're pretty high. So it might not make a ton of sense, but here's the taxes again. So here's what you need to consider. You know, we're hoping that protocols like this last at least, you know, 30 to 60 days. So you're gonna land somewhere in here. Um, I, I'd have to do the math, but I don't know exactly what, at what point you would ROI, but it's probably something like 40 days, right? You're getting the 2%, then it jumps to three, then it goes to four. So it just depends on um, how much you're pulling and when exactly you're gonna ROI based on your particular, your own particular claim strategy. So it's interesting, it's a little different. The thing that I think is the most interesting, and like I said, I, I don't think I've seen it tried before, is that all the money goes into a mutable contract and the trading actually happens inside the contract. So they're trading that money on decentralized exchanges and that's building up the TVL and that's how they're paying people out of profits. Normally, the dev has full control over those funds and of course they go and trade them. Like with Wolf Capital, Trav has been trading those funds and doing a phenomenal job, but there's a lot of trust that's involved in that. This is a little more trustless, so it's definitely a different take on trading protocols. So obviously all this stuff has risk. My concern of this protocol, you know, just being real, is once you get up into this four or five percent, once it goes, you know, 31 to 45 days and beyond, they'd have to be really killing it in the trades to be able to sustain this. Or the crypto market, you know, to be honest, if we somehow move into a bull market, it's really gonna help, right? All the asset prices are gonna go up. And anytime you're in a bull market or anything like it, you can basically throw a dart at anything and find a winner. So that might actually benefit them in this scenario. So very interesting, little different, still still high risk, guys, with any of this stuff, any DeFi protocol whatsoever, it's always gonna be high risk. It can be extremely high reward, and that's the offset, right? That's the trade-off. If you wanna get into a protocol and make a ton of money, you're gonna have to assume some risk. Sometimes protocols or, or projects are gonna tank, and sometimes you're gonna jump in to a meme coin like Pepe. That thing's gonna skyrocket and you're gonna make $100,000. So you just never know exactly what you're getting into. There's plenty of risk. I've been in a lot of projects. I've gotten into a lot of projects that have tanked. And luckily for me and for us, I found a lot of products that are winners. So please invest risk capital only. I'm not a financial advisor. Go watch other videos on it. Figure out if it's something that you wanna get interested in and invest in. And once you've made that decision, then stick with it and go from there. So moving down, um, of course, you can use the calculator to figure out your investments, figure out how much you're going to make. So I don't know exactly what I'm going to put in here. Like I said, it's probably going to be two BNB at first. It won't even let me go to th go straight to three. So anyway, you can come in here and play with this calculator, figure out what your percentage is, figure out when you're going to be doing it. Uh, like I said, right here, it talks about the six and one strategy. I've heard other people talk about it too. I've seen it in their literature. So they're really trying to get people to do the, um, you know, six compounds and one claim, which I'm perfectly fine for, especially if this protocol can last a while. That's a good way to help keep the TVL. You know, if you want to go, a little bit different and try to get your ROI back a little faster. You could do a five and two. Anyway, crypto is a solo sport, but try to support the community where you can. I'm not gonna read all the FAQs, but you can come in here and read them. I wanna highlight this one because I've talked about it a lot. How is the project facilitating decentralized trades? When the chart of a particular coin is on an upward trend, we will initiate a trade execution process. This involves purchasing the token with BNB, transferring it to our smart contract automatically without owner access. Next, we will set a limit for selling the tokens once it reaches a certain value. This will trigger the automatic sale of the token for the profit, along with any BNB earned, and will be directed back to our smart contract. So this to me, I mean, you know, just from my trading experience, they're just gonna trade the breakouts. So if they've got tokens that are moving on an upward trend, they've broken a key level of resistance and it's moving up, they're basically gonna buy a bunch of the tokens immediately and then set a sell order up there. Hopefully they're setting some stop losses, and once it hits, it's automatically gonna sell and that money's gonna go into the TVL. 
So theoretically, that's how it works. And they're saying that they can support these prices. And again, I think they can for a while. It just depends on once you, once you get a little bit further down the road, if there's not a whole lot of adoption, can they really maintain 5% for a ton of users? That has yet to be seen, but hopefully I will have ROI a long time before that and you will have too. This is where they talk about being KYC. They basically just said, uh, if needed, they will do it. They're not because they're not actually holding any of the funds of the investors because it's locked in the smart contract, which I get. These guys make it a point to say that they are non-Ponzi, right? Is a Dex factory a Ponzi scheme? No, it's actually a sound business model it relies on decentralized trades. This involves executing trades on decentralized exchanges in order to generate income for the total value locked, right? The TVL. So basically they're saying no Ponzi nomics, which there's some of it, but there's some Ponzi nomics in every type of investment, every type of stock, real estate, everything. In order to see growth in any sector, you need new investor capital. So basically in a nutshell, they're just saying all the trading will cover the TVL that they need. And that has yet to be seen, but we're going to give it a whirl. Is there any future for Dex Factory? That's kind of a funny way to phrase that, but uh, I see they have a very bright future because they do the decentralized trades, uh, increasing the TVL. Uh, additionally, they plan to launch a token in September. So if this thing really lasts for a long time, all the way to December or September, and then they launch a token, you could see an influx of capital come in. If you guys have been keeping an eye on, um, on the crypto market as a whole, it's kind of meme coin season. There's a lot of um, tokens that are coming out like Pepe, which I mentioned earlier. They're just taking off for absolutely no reason. There's no utility. It's just a meme coin. People get excited about it. Uh, price skyrockets. People turn $1,000 into $100,000. So if we're in that type of environment and they launch a token and it does well, then that, of course, would benefit all of us. I'll read this last one and I'll let you guys uh, read the rest. But can you explain how the withdrawals work? So if you invest one BNB as a new user on the platform, you receive 2% return on an initial investment. You get that over the period of the first one to 15 days. That means you will receive a daily reward of 0.02 BNB. And after every 24 hours, your rewards will be added into your investment. In the next 48 hours, that'll bring uh, an additional reward of, it'll come to 0.04 BNB. Of course, you either have the option to reinvest, which can further grow your initial investment, or you can collect that reward, which will be added over into your withdraw amount. Once you've uh, clicked collect on your reward, you can withdraw that total amount. It's available every 24 hours. So like I said, if you need to claim, you need to know you're going to do that process, and then you're not going to be able to pull the money for 24 more hours. So just be aware of that. So the protocol is pretty interesting. I like the fact that, that the money's locked on the contract. That's different for a trading protocol. Like I said, I've never seen one like that. Um, this launches in just under 15 hours. So I need to sit down and do the math on exactly when I think I'd ROI, if I did a six and one or a five and two, and that'll help me figure out exactly, you know, how much money I want to risk in here. Um, I don't know how it's going to work. You know, I thought about, Hey, what if I put in two BNB, uh, right out the gate and then I come back in and see how it's going two weeks later and put in two BNB is that additional two BNB subject to, um, to the one to 15 day range, or is it just going to get like, it'll be a new stake basically. So it's got to go through this whole process or will it go into whatever stake that I have? Cause that could be pretty interesting. And that could also be a flaw in the protocol. If I'm being truly honest, because if it works like that, you could put in a small amount, get all the way up to this, you know, take pretty much no risk, get all the way up to this 46 days and then dump a large amount in and be getting 5% per day. But I honestly don't know. It's just something I'm going to have to play with. Just something that popped into my mind. But another gamble play that looks pretty good. I do like these trading protocols when they work. Like I said, I can't say it enough. Wolf Capital has been an amazing success. And I know several other protocols like AITC, Total Sleeper. I just pulled more money from that. I'm like 90% to ROI. So if you got into AITC, which is a 1.5% per day uh, trading deal with BUSD, if you got into that with me when I initially launched the video, you'll be ROI probably in the next week. So that just goes to show that some of these trading protocols really can work and they can work well. We'll see if this is one of them. Obviously, I don't know. I don't have a crystal ball, but I know some of this stuff that I'm trying is going to take off. There's going to be another couple of protocols that boom and everyone's going to wish they would have got in. So for me personally, it's okay to risk some dollars to see if this is one of those. And if I lose, I lose. And if I win, I hope that I win big. So that's it. Let me know what you guys think. Like I said, just a little bit different. I am going to give it a try. It launches sometime tomorrow. So this video will be out um, in plenty of time for you to check it out and see if it's something you want to invest in. So please smash the like. Let me know if you guys have any comments down below, whether you get into the protocol or not. I really appreciate you coming to my channel and consuming the content and supporting me on this DeFi journey. I know times are tough right now, but I guarantee we're going to move at some point into a bull market 
and all the people that are involved in crypto right now and have been making investments and biding their time, they're gonna be heavily rewarded. So I can't wait for that day. Happy investing.